What's up guys, welcome back to another video of Future Aquariums, Nathan here, and today I've always wanted to have more height on my aquarium since I didn't have enough substrate to begin with. So I'm going to be adding height to it today, and I thought of it mid-water change. And basically I'm just going to try to make uh, the two mountains higher, so I think the aquascape will look a lot much better. And if you're wondering where Wei is, Wei, I put him in a cup right here let him hang out for a little bit so what i'm doing is i'm putting a credit card at the corner since i only want the corners to have height and then you can see how i pushed it back so it's empty space i'm going to keep repeating the process while filling substrate in the back so i'll show you guys my substrate right now all right so this is a substrate i got from a friend that quit the hobby the substrate is pretty damn dirty but i'm gonna rinse it and i'm gonna use this to fill in the corners Next, we're gonna use a spoon to spoon the substrate into the uh, back corner. And also make sure to get take your uh, aquascape out in, in, the, in that side. I left the rest in because I want the substrate to push up that aquascape. Alright guys, so hopefully you guys saw most of that. So basically my goal was to try to ri raise the aquascape as much as possible without disturbing it. So as you can see, if you just look at it from the front, you can't really see the, the red substrate. And I think that's all I'm going to do for today. Unless I go out and buy some more Fubo Stratum. So I actually, it actually looks like it's black. But, I mean, I also changed the rock structure a little bit. I think it raised a teensy bit. Honestly, I'm just too nervous to do more. But that's pretty much how you do it. Like, I don't think that this was a bad idea. You can only see the red if you're, like, up here. But normally, I look at it from here. So, it should be fine. Next time I give you guys an update on, like, me rising the substrate is going to be when I have some more fluo stratum. So obviously the best way to do this is to have enough substrate from the start so you don't have to go through all the trouble of actually trying to raise the substrate or anything so or you could have just like what i should have done was i should have put some rocks on the bottom and tied it with like a cheesecloth or something like that so that i can rise the substrate without actually having to need more substrate which maybe i sh sh can still do if i just move the credit card and then uh bring the substrate like back and force the bag under maybe i'll try that next but overall this is what i'm gonna do today so i'm gonna fill up the water and then i'll put it way back in all right guys so here is the final product you can see i changed the rock shape a little bit over there i actually really like what i did it kind of looks like one rock and it's it's actually two but there's a branch over there so you can't really tell i really like what i did there and I covered up some of the red stuff with the fluval stratum that was in the middle. So it looks, it does def, it definitely looks like the, it was raised a little bit. Definitely gives the aquarium a little bit more height. I think I'm pretty satisfied with like the materials that I used. You guys saw I just used cups, I used a spoon, I used um, uh, like a credit, I used my flipper card over there, but you can use any normal credit card. And so with minimal tools, you can raise the height in your aquarium just by a teensy bit. And I only did it with that side. I, I think it's better if these two sides are uneven in height. But it would be better if it was like a teensy bit higher, maybe like up to here. But that's going to take a lot of work and I'm not up to that. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.